What up? This is Shan and this is Cozy Womb Podcast. This is Ari. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Anya. Hi. What up? Shan and this is Cozy Moon Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Um, today I wanted to talk about prom do's and don'ts for kids because it is just a small segment into what bigger things you will enjoy as a teenager, as a young adult. There's so much more to just prom so basically for me prom was over exaggerated just just I thought it was going to be more than what it was and I was hella disappointed not because it was boring just because I made such a big deal about it weeks prior to and then when it came and I was in I'm just like this is it so basically What you don't want to do is spend crazy amounts of money on a dress um, that you're basically just going to take pictures in. You're going to walk in there and hopefully you can move in that dress. Hopefully that dress fits you well. Hopefully that dress is comfortable. Um, Your shoes. Don't spend buku dollars on your shoes. The odds are you're just going to wear it for that night. I always get dresses and um, shoes that I only wear once. Why? I don't know. But I've stopped that. If I do not like it uh, to wear it more than once, I'm not getting it. That is my two now. But back then, I made a big deal about it. One, because I never went to parties. Two, I never went out with a whole bunch of friends when I was 16, 17 to do anything. So I made a big deal about prom when I shouldn't have. So the shoes, I wouldn't spend over uh, $70 on the shoes. Just come on, don't make a big deal. The dress, I got my dress made by my mom. It was a denim fabric that was black with gold shimmers in it. And she made my dress. It was cut out on both sides on the hip. So she had to make me special underwear to wear my dress. Um, And it was open. And then the top was, I think, like a halter top. Um, My makeup, I went to, I want to say Macy's and paid someone professionally to do my makeup, which was about $62. Please don't do that. Just... Get that friend that can do your makeup really good. And I hated it after because I felt my face felt so caked up. I don't like makeup that makes my face feel heavy or that like kind of like not to be rude or mean, but kind of like um, <laughs> kind of like um, if a man was putting on makeup. I don't like that. I felt like so odd. So. I did my makeup, my hair, um, how did I do my hair? Did I go to a hairdresser? I want to say I went to a hairdresser. That was $60. If it's not a hairstyle that you're going to keep for a week, don't make a big deal about it. Um, But my hair was like in curls and what else? And it was just after I got my hair and my makeup done and I had my dress, it was just a long wait to when my friend was going to pick me up. I did not um, particularly schedule or say, hey, I wanted to go to prom with you. But I, a friend of mine was like the guy across from me when we went to dinner. We went to dinner somewhere in Buckhead. I remember it was um, near Lennox, this restaurant, and it was a group dinner Everybody wanted to do one bill at the beginning. At the end of the night, nobody wanted to do that one bill shit because nobody could honestly say what they ordered and what they were going to pay for. Even people that did not order 
anything ended up paying, which is really shitty. So don't make a big deal about where y'all eat. But we ate before prom. Um, I drove with my friend Keisha and she picked up I want to say two more people. She had a big, I want to say a suburban truck that her mom rented for her. Her dress was cute too. Um, I was I was 17 when I went to prom. It was April 16th. I remember the date because, um, why do I remember the date? Because my ex had his prom on the same night. So, <laughs> and, um, we couldn't, we couldn't get along because he wanted to go, he wanted me to go to his prom where they were having a prom and I wanted them to come to mine and we, and we both was stubborn and we was just like, forget it, I'll go by myself. So, we went to, um, after we ate, um, uh, with my friends, we had our prom at, the Fox Theater in Atlanta downtown. So we went to the Fox Theater, took pictures or whatever. I took my pictures by myself. I want to say I do have a picture of me in that prom dress. I hope y'all never find it. <laughs> um, I took my pictures by myself. And um, I remember just everybody took off their shoes when it was time to dance. And we just danced with anybody and everybody. And we just really just had, like, a fun time with it. Um, You know, took pictures, took videos of people. After that was done, shit, we was just ready to go. So, um, after we left prom, a lot of us had, like, our own hotel rooms. Or we were going to, like, after parties or uh, hotel parties. I'm just like, eh, I don't really want to go to a hotel party. But I do want to go back to this hotel so I can change my clothes and get out this dress. So, um, my ex had called me that night and he was like, where you at? I was like, I'm on Peachtree um, in Bucket. He was like, oh, okay. What are you about to do? I said, I really want to go to this hotel and change my clothes. And he was like, no, I want to see you in your dress. I'm just like, ugh. So I asked my friend after she changed her clothes, could she take me to his um, hotel? Mind you, his damn hotel was at the Embassy Suites on Peachtree, which is like around the corner. I was like, shit. So um, I was like, all right, I'm pulling up. So I pulled up. He met me downstairs. His hotel room had like, I want to say, six to ten different friends and girls in it and I'm just like dog like so y'all really got y'all a little sweat so um he was like oh he was like let me see you in your dress I'm just like oh my god see 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 and he was like oh, okay um and then I don't know I feel like he cued everybody to leave the room no at first everybody was like in there watching a basketball game or whatever and then he like cued everybody to leave the room. I'm just like, ugh. <sighs> <laughs> because I knew what he was doing. I was just like, okay. He was like, oh, he was like, you look pretty in dress. I was like, thanks. <sighs> Can I like change out of it? And he was like, he was enjoying himself. I guess he enjoyed his prom or whatever. Um, let's fast forward this. Yes, I lost my virginity. Um, prom night. So for parents, just for y'all to know, um, that may happen with your child, okay? And if you don't want that to happen, I suggest you figure out what time prom should be about ending and go pick them up from the prom location. Not the hotel location, not let them go to a party, pick them up at the prom location. The benefit for me that night was because my mom did not drive. And I told her I would have somebody drop me off. She never gave me no time that I needed to be dropped off. And I do remember her calling me on my phone and I purposely did not answer. Um, I want to say after everything was said and done, I didn't get home until 530 that morning. And I lived in Gwinnett um, County at the time. 
which was in Duluth. Yeah. And the reason why I got home so late is because this fool, my ex, kept getting lost on 285. On taking me home at 85. And I'm just like, dog, it's not that hard. And his friends were in the back. And it was just like a whole thing. So just don't allow your child to have too much time after prom is supposed to be finishing go pick them up and the great thing about um now is there's uber and there's lyft and most parents have multiple cars go pick them up and if you can't pick them up have a sibling go pick them up i remember my brother being on the phone trying to drill to me that morning talking about so what time did you get home and who, who what happened last night and tell me about prom and why your hair looks so messy <laughs> Y'all should have been on y'all <coughs> kudos the night before. Um, my oldest brother was in my room just like staring me down, asking me about prom, blah, 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 blah. My cousin was staring me down, asking me about prom, blah, 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 blah. Y'all know what y'all did when y'all went to prom. Leave me alone. So, don't make a big deal out of it. Um, don't spend crazy amounts of money on a prom dress, take pictures, enjoy yourself, um, make sure, uh, parents, if you think your child is going to be sexually active, they know what to do, okay, um, and just make sure you know who they may be around, my mom didn't specifically ask me after I came home what happened, but I feel like she knows what happened, and she knows what happened with who, but, yeah, so, that was my prom night, and I just wanted to throw that out there because it is that prom season. We are in March. April is right around the corner. For So, those parents who have prom time coming up, don't make a big deal out of it. Um, make sure your child has options after prom. Make sure your child knows not to get in. Um, any friend's car that's been drinking or on any illegal substance. We did drive around downtown Atlanta for like an hour or two, just, uh, you know, having fun with friends or just seeing different places downtown and just playing music and just, you know, being teenagers before we got settled anywhere, went to any hotel room or party or whatever. But it was an okay time, but... If I had to do it again, I probably would have never went. Because I, I just don't... I don't like parties. I don't like getting dressed to go stand in a crowd. And I don't like getting dressed in, to take pictures. I don't like none of that stuff. So, yeah, I would never do it again. But I have two daughters. And because I know what goes on in prom... <laughs> your ride will be outside. <laughs> right. So, um, parents, just be on your P's and Q's. Um, Be mindful about your purchases. Um, Be mindful about what your child knows and what your child will do. And if you have a child that cannot be trusted, and if you have a child that can be trusted, just make sure they know that you know what you know so they won't do anything stupid. But, yes, those are my two cents on prom. Um, act accordingly. This is Cozy One Podcast, and y'all be good. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> What's so special about Hero Bread's soft, fluffy, and delicious breads, buns, and tortillas? Hero Bread serves up zero to one grams of net carbs, five to eleven grams of protein, and high fiber in every delicious serving. Made with natural ingredients, Hero Bread supports gut health, promotes weight management, and helps maintain blood sugar. Hero also drops other limited edition ultra-low net carb goodies like rich, flaky croissants and buttery brioche slider rolls. Head to Hero.co to shop today.